Alright, welcome back everyone. It's been a while. I am Evil Tim and this is Let's Play, a game I didn't say I was going to play at all, but never mind. We're testing our video capture -y type editing equipment thing, so let's play this game, Wolfenstein. I'm not entirely sure what it's doing now. I think it's probably creating a save file, but it might be attempting to overthrow democracy, so we'd better put a stop to that immediately. Let's go instead into the mind, the mind of a man, the mind of many men, in fact, who are probably in those tubes. It's the mind of it. This game does not come from the mind of it, because it was instead palmed off to their second unit type team, their buddies at Raven, who are stark Raven mad enough to take on even this. I'm sorry. Right, so let's turn that into stone, and let's turn the stone into nothing. So instead, a veil has been torn away in a manner which will no doubt have something to do with the game. Entrance Studios, however, will no doubt not have something to do with the game, because no one knows who they are, so off they can fuck. Now, instead, we have a Whirly V. The Whirly V is bad, because it will soon attack attack us, assault us with active vision. There we go. So, this is probably what, what you might call the first clone of Far Cry 2. We'll see what that means later on, we will. After we have loaded, we've got Havoc Physics here, but everyone's got that, so it's not very exciting anymore. So, once we've loaded, we were rid of that, and this B-17 has crashed in a field, but the Nazis aren't aware of it, and are still firing their anti-aircraft fire at the sky. It thinks it's hidden here. However, there's a Tiger tank coming along, which will soon discover its ways, and then it will no doubt to be defeated. Meanwhile, we've got the option Nazis here, so let's check all of our options to ensure that they are correctly optionified. So we'll check that, which looked alright when I uh, originally recorded this, but doesn't quite look alright here. But never mind that, I'm sure it'll come out fine, and now we've got to uh, use the control Nazi to make sure we've got the correct controls. We can do config 1, which would put the fire button in the wrong place, but that would be silly of us, so we're going to go to config 2 instead. Meanwhile, gameplay Nazi here has the subtitles, so we will enable them. Those are a nice bunch. I'm sure they won't be in the game at all. So instead we'll go to the campaign Nazis who are all wearing incredibly silly costumes. Okay, so Gimpy the new game Nazi will be our friend here. He's going to ask us to not hurt me. So we'll do that because we're normal people. Okay, so Nazi warship Tirpitz, as opposed to all the other World War II battleships called Tirpitz, you know, those 30 of them. Good thing they established that, really. It's opening up its chimneys, no doubt, to vent out the odors, but men are searching for things. This would make a fairly good level, but never mind. It's going to be a cutscene instead. Should we delay the missile launch on London? I don't know. Let me check my question-answering silly watch. Oh, the first mate was a bit rough last night, eh? I did not need that mental image. Right, okay, so this is us. It's Blowjob Blastington, the greatest of all spies, because he can knee Nazis in the Croglies and then use them as a shield. That's great, we can't do it in the game, so it doesn't matter. And BJ flees, knowing of that. This man has just finished in the toilet, but BJ is rude and knows he hasn't flushed. So, they have got their toilet protecting cannon. However, this thin sheet of metal will surely protect us from that machine gun fire, and we've got our anti-toilet protecting cannon pistol. But the missiles are nearly ready to launch. I'm not entirely sure why we're getting so excited to missile launch on London, being as the Nazis actually did fire a lot of missiles at London without any unsuccess at all. And we didn't give up the war because of it, so maybe they are Nurkula missiles or something, they are a deeper threat. Oh, and maybe it's just uh, the Turpits trying to actually do something, being as it was busy being blown up by everyone in the world at the time. So, apparently on the unblown up Turpits, there are a lot of unblown up Nazis here. The RAF will probably bomb it again in 20 minutes, but never mind. Okay, I won't escape that easily, but okay, I'll escape this easily, because a plot device has just started up in my shirt. Okay, so... I too get my plot devices from Sharper Image, but uh, apparently it's got a shield, and eventually this happens to all Nazis, doesn't it? Yeah, they just can't get away without being vaporated. Honestly. Mystical artifacts and Nazis just don't mix. BJ should have known better than to pull that out on them, but uh, apparently they do mix with him, though. So the missiles are nearly ready, no doubt, to do something or other. So, uh, BJ is going to check his watch, and it's got one second to go, which was lucky. And it turns out that this was actually what they were supposed to do. This is just the Nazis are going to show the SAS, the RAF, and the Norwegian Resistance how it's done, and blow up the turbines themselves. So, that done, it's conspicuously not sinking in the background, and BJ apparently has figured out how to fly a plane. Although he could fly a rocket plane in the previous game, I guess. Tell him we have to meet as soon as I land. If I don't accidentally trigger this thing and blow up the plane first. Okay, so this thing here is doing whatever that is, and Wolfenstein is in front of it, no doubt. Which is a good thing. Probably. 
However, a black screen, but then a heavily tooled up eagle. It's got itself some weapons and it's got a shield. It's ready to take on the game. Unfortunately, BJ is more ready to take on the game because he is real, you see. And he's dressed himself as the Fonz. Both of these things will make him more powerful and soon he will probably get a power up of some sort as well. But first, London, England, as opposed to the 28 other places called London. London Mars, perhaps. It's the witching hour, and these men have been witching, but they have to stop now because in comes the Fonz. Your mission on the Turpits was a success, BJ. She's at the bottom of the ocean. Despite not sinking. But I'm more concerned about that medallion I found. So are we. Dozens of specialists are studying it right now. What have they found out? All the things they can find out in the time it took you to walk to here? Forward. The medallion's a symbol that was used by an obscure clan of mystics. Well, this is some very fast specialists. Called the Black Sun. Who they were was lost centuries ago when the group was killed in a cataclysmic event. Then, Called Thursday. Two decades ago, the symbol was adopted by the Thule Society, a German <laughs> Bunch of cult group that has a number of high-ranking Nazis among its members. No doubt Including some Himmler, the according to the previous game, as I recall. They are indeed. What do you no doubt you know that. that are the crystals the medallion contains. They can only be They're found expensive. In one place on Earth, a city in Germany called Eisenstadt. It's German and means I see stoked. The fighters of the Chrysal Circle there. They had some very interesting information. It had nothing to do with this any of this, but uh, Zeta, a rising star in Himmler's paranormal division. No, that's a the human being, not a rising star. A large operation in Eisenstadt. But what they're doing there is unknown. So we just found a piece of paper with evil written on it. Work. That's what we need you to find out, Agent Blaskowitz. Your orders are to travel to Eisenstadt, rendezvous with the resistance fighters, and assess the situation. Sorry to send you back into the field so soon, BJ, but you've dealt with this kind of thing before. No, I haven't. You're the only man for the job. Not a problem. When do I get started? Tell me about the rabbits. Travel arrangements have already been made. The best of luck to you, Agent Blaskowitz. Thank you, sir. Right, so he's gonna go off and he will soon find out what his travel arrangements are as we load up the level. It is, in fact, he's taking the express from London to Germany. I guess they built that channel tunnel a bit early. Meanwhile, if you put a, like, a police cap on this guy, he would immediately become French with that moustache. And uh, I guess this is why we came here on the train, is because we have no legs. Marvellous. So he's gonna push that open, which was nice of him. Our cover has already been blown. I mean, we came in such a great disguise, too. We disguised as ourselves. And now we will have to go through the local concert hall, no doubt, which will be a spectacular. It's just uh, marvelous. Okay, so up there he is going to be menaced by the Nazis and questioned in a very thorough manner, no doubt. Let us listen to their questioning. I don't know. Wait, no! Well, that was. Bloody fantastic. Okay, so now that he has been shot without really being questioned at all, we are going to have to swim through poo. Lovely. Right, so it's raining in this sewer, and up there are some Germans again, so let's listen in on them and see what they're all about. Don't worry, I'm down here. I'll help you. Here I am. No, they're not very clever, are they? No wonder they lost the war. And they lost a paper plate here, too. That's that's very, very good, useful thing that they've thrown down there. I don't know why they do a thing like that. Meanwhile, in terms of other useful things that they have thrown down here, here is a bar of fucking gold. Why? Yes, that's a good question. And it's not a very valuable bar of gold. It's sort of worth $250. Collect gold to buy weapon upgrades at the black market, it tells us, with its tippity thing. And it's going to tell us to do our rowdy, rowdy, rodney run down here. So we jump up here and... Ooh, look, alcohol. Well, I'm sad. I'm just going to stay here for the rest of the game. Oh, fuck it. I can't even drink from them. That would be fun, you see. So, meanwhile, we'll pick up some more gold. And here is Eric Engels, who is a clearly a columnist. And the fires of hell over there have been stoked for him. Somehow they know about you. But I was so subtle. Okay, so here's some stuff. We can't pick it up yet because Eric Engels hadn't told us to yet. As he's already trying to take away our free will, the baddie. Grab some weapons from this table and follow Oh, once you can I grab the other weapons from the table? Come on, give me Good, my friend. Now come. That didn't really work out as it was supposed to, did it? Uh, incidentally, you only actually have to grab at least one weapon from that table. I guess that's why it glitched there. But here is some intelligence, so let's power up our mind to read it. And the cargo the special operations train carries is this must actually be protected with this at all costs. 
I want your best security detail present, as well as a doubling of the guards at all checkpoints. But not too much you for it to be the easiest level in the game. You are also to deploy additional heavy weapon emplacements. What? Make no mistakes. More than your career will end if any equipment aboard the train is damaged. Yeah. Okay, so that's General Zetu, who smoked every cigarette in the Third Reich. And so uh, we will find out more about him as the game goes on. There's some cigarettes that he smoked right there, in fact. Um, also, some of you might want to keep a running count of just how many of these intels involve one or more Nazis threatening to kill anybody who fucks up transporting something delicate. You'd think after a while they would just start hiring people who were actually good at their job or something like that so they didn't have to keep writing out threats, but I guess that never occurred to anyone. Meanwhile, by the cash register here is another giant bag of gold. I really don't know why. I guess uh, in Eisenstadt, gold isn't particularly valuable, and so people use it as doorstops and have, like, sheds made out of gold and stuff. Meanwhile, however, ammunition for a couple of the weapons is valuable, and it's probably their only form of currency. However, while we were doing all that, we've got ourselves our first weapon. This is the MP40. It's a submachine gun, and it's pretty useful. We've also got ourselves some grenades so that I can screw up throwing them, because I'm recording, you see. No, actually, everything I'm going to do with grenades is intentional, you see. That, that was a bad barrel, so it needed to be destroyed far more than the Germans over there, and that was a bad nothing. So that's them taken out and thwarted, and now we'll load up of our weaponry and continue on our rampage here. These guys are all hiding behind a thing, so we will probably have to follow shoot with them. And follow shoot with them as well. So we will gun down all of these dudes over here. That uh, car over there is indeed the same one that we came out of. We have gone in a big circle, but now we're in the bit with the shooting Nazis, which is clearly better than the bit with the not shooting Nazis, because it has a shooting Nazis in it. And you can't argue with that, except when you can, of course. So we've loaded that up. He's tried to throw a grenade at us, but that wasn't on, and we thwarted him. So we'll uh, give that a bit of that, and then we will go and grab ourselves some more golden intelligences. But firstly, we'll grab ourselves some more ammunitions, because we may need them. However, this bench is looking at us funny, so we will deny it to the enemy. You didn't think that was going to work, did you? But it did, that's what. You might notice we just picked up one grenade from three grenades, so I guess the other two just weren't to bless go is liking, or perhaps on the easiest difficulty every single grenade power-up is three. Meanwhile, let's bust our way in here and steal some shit. We've got ourselves some kind of artifact there which has given us more gold, and up here is another thing, so let's power up our mind again, ready to find out. In the out. next few days, a very important dignitary from Berlin will be arriving for an inspection tour. He will be Oscar's be full access to every base and experimental facility in the town. Should any harm befall this dignitary, all those charged with his protection will be tried, convicted, and summarily executed. You know, I don't think you can summarily execute somebody you've tried, but I guess that might actually be the joke. It's, it's the old after a fair trial, you will be shot thing. But never mind, let's blow that up. It's an exploding barrel, you see. They're transporting special operations explosions here, and that guy there has a bench. He's camped out by it. We won't destroy his bench because it's a resistance bench. Meanwhile, this locomotive has preheaters, which is useful. And over there is... Is this part of some sort of tutorial the Nazis hadn't got around to assembling yet? I don't know. Here's a sack of papers. Let's find out their knowledge with our power. Dearest Wolfgang, it's been far too long since we last met. I realize you married that woman for her family's connections. But, but I am from really Uncanny Valley. Anymore? Imagine how happy we'd be if we didn't have to keep our romance a secret. I'm looking forward to meeting you in Eisenstadt. Yours forever, Brigitte. P.S. I recently purchased some clothing from France. And imagine his surprise when it turns out it's a strap-on shaped like the Eiffel Tower. Or perhaps it won't be a bad surprise, the dastardly fellow. So let's steal this here gold again, and then we will make our way further onwards and forth to uh, jump over some things. But we won't succeed at that because we need to find... I believe one more gold. Yes, it's here. It's a nice sandbag there located in the corner, which is a good thing. They're not really secrets as such, these secrets, are they? So let's get the dynamite to plant itself there. I guess we just had to supervise or something, because Velaskovitz doesn't have hands, you see. And this will get increasingly ridiculous as time goes on. However, through here is another weapon, as well as Nazism. So, there we go. We can now press R2 to switch weapons. We've got the Car 98, which is our snipery rifle. It's not yet got a scope, but we'll be able to change that later. For now, it's just good for shooting people in the arse and face and meat section. So, let's load these in one at a time, because apparently it takes $1,500 to afford it, or to tell the uh, ammunition type guys to not take it off the stripper clip. 
I don't know how that works either. I guess the uh, ammo vendor is making a lot of money through this. But never mind, let's blast all these um, unblasted men and then continue loading this up in a manner that doesn't look like it should work, but does. So, a bit of that, but no, a bit of that instead. That's what works, and so more bullets go in, because that's where they go, you see. If you don't put them there, there's nowhere to put them. And these guys, meanwhile, thank you for your assistance. They're quite ready for anything that decides to come straight through that door, even though nobody ever does. So, we've got ourselves more gold, more action, more surprise, more suspense, more adventure, more weaponry that we don't need because we've still got full ammo. That guy's having a bit of a lie down there. I guess he was just worn out by our ways, so let's throw a grenade in there where they need it. They've been explosioned by that. However, they've got the same idea. They think that more grenades need to go there. and We could throw it back if we wanted to, but I have resolved to never throw a grenade back in a game unless it actively makes me do it. Because that's a silly behavior, and no mistake, that guy's off. He doesn't really like the idea of throwing grenades down here anymore because he lost at it. But he's coming back now. He's a glutton for punishment, and he has now had punishment. Thus his gluttony is ended. So, here's another one of these intelligences. So, let's power up our eyes and get ready I for it. I was just told that a growing amount of munitions are lost while being moved from the train cars to the trucks bound for military bases. This made this me most very like cross. Of the black market. Additional guards are being posted, but I would ask you all to be on the lookout for any suspicious characters. Right, okay, so the intel is told us to be on the lookout for suspicious characters. Well, that guy looks like a suspicious character for a start. He's some sort of uh, Nazi Dick Van Dyke, and this guy also looks like a suspicious character. We'll get out of here before they use their suspiciousness on us. So, I have to hold L1 to zoom. I don't know how we wouldn't have worked that out before now, but I guess they have to take the chances that everyone might be an idiot. So, we've got a long range of T section here now to test out our rifly thing and use it to destroy all of those men who are on the other side. They are on the other side, so they are not allies, they are enemies, you see. It's very simple figuring these things out in a video game. Anyone on our side is the right side. So, let's go over here. We're now on the other side. My god, we've betrayed all of our principles. So, it's how every man for himself, I should think. So, it's every man for himself, and that man is now no longer for himself, so we have sorted that out as well. Let's throw a grenade down here in case anybody, any of that harmless peace and quiet tries anything on us. And then we will have to run back and grab ourselves a few things, because there is a thing over here, like... So, let's put some more bullets in there, because that seems like the right thing to do. And in this radio room is located radios and maps, but also gold. And that just genuinely doesn't belong there. So, we'll have a quick look here, but there's nothing else. So, let's run accidentally into nothing, and then we will proceed. Proceed forth. And 5th and 6th and 7th as well. We have all the procedures down, you see. So, nothing there. And we will go in here now and read this thing here. That's the last intelligence in the level. After this, it's all very stupid. delicate equipment arrived at our laboratory yesterday in disrepair. This is another guy who is very it was crops. properly secured for transportation. In the future, make certain your men treat shipments to Project Nuxton with the utmost care. Otherwise, I will have to... I just don't know. I will stamp my feet. So, we've picked up another gold in the time it took him to stamp his feet, and here we go, down the stairs, into a conflicty area where men are fighting it out in a, in a dramatical fashion. And the resistance has won its great victory. However, over here is a machinery gun, and there are men throwing grenades right at my face, too. That was very unkind of them, and they have got their just desserts, which aren't even very tasty desserts. They're horrible ice cream, the vile stuff that you get from the store's own brands. Meanwhile, Nazi Germany has been affected by a plague of magnetic machine guns, something which happens a lot in video games. People are just attracted to machine guns, despite huge heap of bodies in front of them, which would generally tip you off as the fact that maybe it isn't a good idea to use them. So we've got ourselves a turret segment, and we've got a heat gauge, and we don't have an ammo counter. You'll see why we don't have an ammo counter in a minute, but we've got to gun down all of these dudes as they attempt to do us in, uh, while these men over here set a bomb and shout at us. That guy there has just failed in general. He's been discombobulated, so uh, he won't be a threat to us any longer, and that guy's gonna skid over there and go to sleep. He was just worn out, you see. That's the problem with these Nazis. Okay, so they have set that and activated it without, uh, you know, really advising us that was what they were going to do. So let's hide here behind nothing. It's a good thing to hide behind after all. If 
hidden behind patriotism, which is his shield forever. Oh, I see, right, they were keeping gravity on the outside of that train car, that was what was going on, and uh, now it's just all gone wrong. So, they, uh, the anti-gravity has failed there, as has everything else, and there are loads of flashity weapons here, as well as a component. Someone might need that at some stage, but never mind. Let's run back here. As you can see, one of the problems that the Nazis had there, so you see it's three grenades, which would equal one grenade. As you can see here, one of the problems that Nazi Germany was having at the time was a wartime shortage of resolution. It was terrible. They just had to make do with what they could at that point in the war, you see. So let's have a quick look at this here machine gun. As you can see, there you go. That's why it has infinite ammo, because they didn't load it. That makes sense uh, to someone, I'm sure. That's why I can't run out of ammo, you see. So, let's go in here, where we will discover that we love to laugh. Loud and long and clear, but they don't. So, up there are some floatity guns. We want them to come down. Come down, you silly gun. Come and join ours. It will be a party. It will be a laugh. But no, it doesn't believe us. So, instead of that, we're going to have to dispel gravity by moving over here where gravity is. Well, that was a good idea, so let's go over here, grab ourselves the second to last gold in the level, and then we will be into a big room where we will have to deal with the hazard of explosions that make everything float. Well, as gimmicks go, it can't really be faulted for unoriginality, but it is very silly. So these Nazis are still flying around, even though we're not flying around. I guess PJ just doesn't get those frequent fire miles. Here's a gun which has delivered itself to us in a very pleasant fashion. And we get a trophy for that, enemies in a barrel. You know, usually when you make a pun, it's supposed to be a pun. Never mind. Right, so let's go over here and... Uh, Incidentally, if they're getting up while the explosion goes off, then uh, they stay on the ground. He's decided to throw us his gun, which was lovely of him. He's clearly a very thoughtful Nazi. Not like this mean Nazi over here who's still trying to shoot us. I don't like him at all, and he has been uh, thwarted for that. I guess somebody decided to throw a grenade at that girder. It's really all go at this point, but none of it makes any sense. That guy is floating around with no head, and this... Well, that's just silly. I don't like that sort of thing. So, let's get rid of their cash registers and their bombing around nonsense, and then admire these armored bars here, which are... Uh, the uh, spaces between them have been filled with very powerful air, which will prevent the Germans from shooting through it. So, the air isn't here, however, so let's throw a grenade over there. That will no doubt do something. Also, I'm not sure how the locomotive got over here, being as, you know, it wasn't anywhere near the explosion and none of the cars near it did that. But then again, I guess it's just a magical Nazi chemical of some description, so nothing it does has to actually be consistent or make any sense. Meanwhile, this guy over here is... Well, I guess he finished doing it, whatever it was, and some glass fell down there. I really don't know what's going on anymore. Okay, so let's blow that up, because that seems like a good idea, but it didn't affect him, because he was hiding behind something. So, uh, that's not good, and this isn't good either. We've dealt with all their exploding barrels, that guy there is just not on, and it's three... Oh, right. It's three o'clock, it turns out, you see. Which is very unrealistic, because as any German will tell you, it is never three o'clock in Germany. It's actually against the law. So, we've thwarted the train station and got everything in it. So let's go to Midtown Vest. There we go. Open the doors to it. I'm just going to pretend none of that ever happened. Who are you? Okay, so, yeah, apparently he was going to meet us at the train station, but then he didn't. At the train station, I made contact with Eric Engel of the Chrysaw Circle. Unfortunately, there's a mole somewhere. It's on my the face. The Nazis knew about my arrival. We managed to fight our way out and destroy a special operations train along the way. It carried some unusual munitions that canceled gravity when it detonated. Everything floated to the ceiling. Yes, uh, that, no I, doubt, we were there when that happened, BJ. General you know, it was the previous guy. level. I hope to find out more when I meet up with Caroline Becker, the leader of the Chrysos Circle. But I won't guarantee anything. Okay, so we completed the mission, and we have unlocked some shit as well, which is great of us. There we go. We've got a recoil compensator, a silencer, improved rifling, a silencer, a stripper clip, and an ammo pouch. So we can purchase shit. Meanwhile, we are standing at a low angle here. We have come in from it. We're traveling to Midtown West in a loading screen. And we haven't shaved in years. Either that or we've just rubbed coal on our chin. I'm not really sure which is which there. It's silly. We're also doing our best to look like serious Sam, but everyone knows we're not. Okay, so that will load up in just a second, presumably. I'm not sure. And then we will be done with this video. I've been Evil Tim. Goodbye.